Hi everyone, I know I haven't been on for a while so this is why I'm doing this video, I'm only going to be talking, I'm sorry, I've got makeup ones coming up tonight so, but I'm just going to use the time I've got spare to quickly tell you all that I've missed you and that I haven't forgot about you, I've just been really busy and rushed off my feet this week with work um, and also I'm going to do a little bit of a, a talk, a catch up, just something little for now but um, I guess tonight I'm hoping to get some videos done with some looks I've got a clear week ahead of us next week so I'm going to be getting loads of looks done um, which I'm really happy about because I tell you what I've been so dying to get on here and do some makeup looks for you because I've been learning little different things and techniques and I got some new products and I wanted to try them out so I'll be doing that soon I promise um, on another note I wanted to also talk because I've noticed that a lot of things on the telly it's all about being thin looking and gorgeous and if you're not you're going to get nowhere in life this is what I pick up off the telly and I'm quite saddened to say that my little twin sisters they're 12, 13 now sorry and I've noticed what they'll do is they won't finish off all their food because they believe that because they're very skinny you see and I think that they're learning from school that it's okay to be a bit bigger but it's even better when you're going to be more successful and you're more liked and you've got more friends and more loved if you're thin and this really angers me because this is the way we want our kids to be brought up and I try and tell the twins you know you've got to eat because it's more healthy for you it's not healthy to be like a stick because they seem to think they want to keep that little waist and they're only small they're tiny already but I've noticed that they pay them are dead they're starting to be more fashion conscious and oh I don't want to eat that and they've been in most of it so it really annoys us and also a bit of a reality check as well for all of we in effect in a sense because we're all buy into the adverts you know have the perfect life and have the perfect products and clothes and figure and hair and face and and it just doesn't ever work like that in real life you know and I'm saying this because I know that I've got a little bit of viewer power so I know a lot of you will watch my videos and I know that a lot of you are very young and very influenced by these things and like we all were but I can speak from experience and when you look around there's more average people out there than those perfect Hollywood people which it's really hard to look like them you know and it's not completely normal to look like them either it's normal to look like everybody out there just average everyday people and do you know what there's nothing wrong in that either but we've all got this hang up and this thing about having to look fantastic you know and you know you've got to have the latest designer jeans and be the size zero and not eat your meals and sod healthiness you know and I just want to look like a little skinny insect but at the end of the day it's going to catch up with you when you get older all the damage that you do to your body when you're younger it'll catch up with you when you get older so you don't always get away with it same if you're over overweight you're going to have health issues too you know, you've got to find a happy medium what you're comfortable with but never do without just because you want to look like the people in the magazine it's really not a good thing to do um, I really feel strongly about this to be honest because it really annoys us I'm not great looking obviously and I could deal with a few, losing a few pounds as well but at the end of the day if you stop aspiring to be like those people in the magazines because they're airbrushed you're never going to look like them no matter what you put on your face I know all the makeup in the world like these adverts for mascara and they're, they're showing you know the, the lashes that you can get they're my lashes I don't know if anyone's noticed but they're not real they're, they're false and plastic and computer graphics and yet they want me to believe that we can have that them lashes if we use that mascara it's the same with foundations you can only cover so much up with foundation and um, you're not going to get a porcelain face or you know perfectly coloured it just doesn't happen but they want you to believe that so they'll advertise it so then you sit there and you say oh well why haven't I got a great face and then you go into a bit of a depression about it feel like you're not worth enough and you're not good enough and, and it's just not a good thing to do and it's coming more and more and more like all the programs on the telly I've noticed that are aimed towards teenagers like the gossip girl and sex in the city even people generally people don't have them kind of lives where they're running around London or New York whining and dining by the way all these dinners that they have they can't eat it if you want to stay thin so you only have to sit there and network and not be able to eat your dinner um, <clears throat> but it's it's all about making you feel bad in the process because at the end of the day a lot of what are just normal 
<clears throat> and I think at the end of the day, as long as you're getting a meal and a roof over your head, we should all be grateful and we shouldn't get ourselves so upset because we can't be like them people on the telly. It's not... A lot of them have just normal jobs, normal lifestyles, but because of all the magazines and tinsel town telly, we're made to feel bad in our own homes that we're not doing enough. <clears throat> and sorry, I've got a frog in my throat when I get angry. But I just wanted to come on here and say that to everybody because I know a lot of you are young and you're watching my videos and you love the makeup tips, which is really great. My makeup tips, I want to show you how to make the best of who you are not to change yourself and become somebody else that's most important here so all the makeup we do it's good to have a play around and experiment and come up with different looks it makes you feel good and at the end of the day other people will look at you and think wow she's got her eyes nice or whatever and that's all we can really look forward to but you're never going to change who you are not with makeup but you can make the best of yourself and that's all really we should be happy with because at the end of the day, the more you want and the want and you want and you want, you're just going to get yourself stressed out about it and it's just not worth it. And the advertiser companies, they don't care. They just want the money and they want to make you believe that you can look like that gorgeous model on a beach and you're never going to. And I don't mean that nasty because I'm never going to. It's just the way life is. A lot of what are average looking and we're never going to be able to achieve that because they don't even look like that in real life. They're all airbrushed and the hair have been done at the salon. You don't get that, not normal, you know? So I just wanted to get that point across anyway because I know a lot of you are very influenced with his being young. I was the same, you know, I wanted to look like such and such and and then you, you, because you want so much, you feel so bad about yourself. You cry, spend hours looking in the mirror and, and it's just not worth it because you know what's most important? That you build and work on your personality. It is. I know a lot of people think, well, personality gets in a way, it's more to do with looks. In a way it does because of the way things are in the world. But you'll be surprised if you've got a good personality how far you'll go and how much people are like you and be drawn to you. So work on that. And don't worry so much about having that stick thin body and being in the designer shoes and clothing because it's not really that important if you think about it. But God, I can go on, can't I? <laughs> I just wanted to come on and talk to you anyway and also say hello and I miss you all and I'm looking forward to getting back on. I've had a massively hectic week which I'm in the clear now. It's all out of the way a little bit. So I'm going to be back on here and do some more makeup looks. The look coming up is the one that I had on in a previous video which I got lots of requests for. A couple of more celebrity looks and then we're on to more natural looks. Looks for people with glasses so that you can put your glasses on and your makeup you can still see it without being too much and you know too reflective um, mature skin what colours to go with and then we're going to play about with more colours to go with which eye colour so that's all coming up I can't wait I'm not going to leave you not in a hurry no way I'm back on I've just been taking a bit of breather or time out so and in the meantime if you want to catch up with any more tutorials I'm still over on the Barry M website check them out you might find some new ones uploaded. I'm supposed to be doing two or three a week, two a week, but I'm a little bit behind, so we're getting them out the way. Um, but that's everything for now, and I'm going to have to go because I'm waiting for a phone call. So, zoom, zoom, everyone. <laughs>